Okay, so back to the questions that um, uh, why the current and the electrons have opposite directions. Okay, isn't that just the electrons flows, the, pro the positive charge don't flow? And if it is just the electron flows, uh, not the positive charge, why now we want to talk about current? Current is the, is, is think, you think the current is like a flow of positive charge, but we know that proton doesn't flow. The only thing flow is the electron. So since all the time is about electrons, why now you want suddenly want to talk about the positive charge, the flow of positive charge? Why you have current itself? Why we don't just use the e flow of electron? Why we want to use the flow of current, huh? flow of positive charge? Isn't that uh, just a uh, flow of electron is sufficient for our understanding? Because all the time it's only the, it is only the electron that flows, never the positive charge. So, why current and electron, they flow in opposite direction? And why it is necessary to talk about the flow of positive charge? This is a very good question. Okay, we have to go back to our history. Uh, in the 17th or 18th centuries, a scientist called Benjamin Franklin first discovered about current, uh, uh, electricity. Yeah? He thinks that electricity is about current and he discovered current is actually the flow of charges. At that time, Benjamin only uh, think that it is the positive charge that flows. Benjamin haven't discovered about electron. He don't know about electrons. He just know about uh, positive charge. Uh, so he thinks that something flow in the wire. Uh, so he, that something is the current. Okay, uh, current is the flow of charge. Uh, so this is the equations he discovered. Current is the rate of flow of charges. And for this equation, for this equation, uh, he think that um, uh, because at that time he only thought about positive charge, never thought about electron, never haven't discovered about electron. So this uh, formula, this charge, actually we regard the charge as positive charge. Ah, uh, we regard as positive charge, uh, rate of flow of charge. Yeah, you, you just think about electricity. Electricity is about current. Current is about rate of flow of charge. Uh, this formula. Okay? So Benjamin only thinks about positive charge. Yeah? Uh, so he don't know what actually moved. Yeah? He, he think that it is a positive charge that flow in the circuit. Uh, so he think that um, uh, positive charge move from positive plate to the negative plate. Uh, that's it. And that is the current, yeah, actually, yeah. And that is the current, uh, and that is the current flow of uh, positive charge. Okay, and that is what we know, we know as a conventional current. Conventional current. That means what is mean by conventional current? The original current, the the most uh, original current. Okay, conventional current. And since that time. All the circuit, all the schematic drawings follow this conventional current concept. Uh, that means he, all the schematic drawings all follow the idea of for, flow of positive charge. Yeah? They all follow the idea of for, uh, the flow of positive charge. And the charge must flow from, because since it, since it is a positive charge, uh, charge must flow from positive terminal to negative terminal. That's the conventional uh, idea conventional current. So all the schematic drawings follow this idea of flow of positive charge, which is like, for example, like the diode. The diode, uh, this is the, uh, this is the uh, post, the anode, and this is the cathode. Okay. Uh, the positive charge, the positive charge uh, or the conventional current must flow from uh, post the, cat, the anode to cathode. Uh, you see, even the diagram also draw in such a direction to follow the flow of positive charge. Uh, you see, this uh, arrow is like going to the right. Uh, it's follow the idea of flow of positive charge to the right. Uh, even the, our battery ourselves, our battery itself also uh, draw in such a way to support the idea of flow of positive charge. You understand? Uh, the, uh, the current must flow from the current must flow from positive terminal to the negative terminal. So all the schematic drawings all follow the idea of 
flow of positive charge. Now, after a century later, which is the 19th century, a scientist known as J.J. Thomson only until 19th century discovered about electrons. Before 19th century, electron is not discovered yet. Uh, so electron is discovered at uh, 19th centuries. J.J. Uh, Thomson learned that electron actually doesn't flow from uh, positive to negative terminal. Electron actually flow from negative terminal to the positive terminal, the other way around. Uh, so it's too late. It's too late because why? All our schematic drawings all follow the conventional current uh, or conventional idea of flow of positive charge. Even the diode also follow the direction, follow the direction of flow of positive charge. Uh, so now if you suddenly uh, want to switch the other way, uh, become the, 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 the current, the current actually flow in the opposite direction, all our schematic drawing had to change, that is very troublesome. Uh, that is very troublesome. Huh? So, uh, no, uh, so uh, since, since uh, it happened that way, uh, electron is discovered later, so they don't, uh, they don't change the schematic drawings. They just follow back the conventional idea of conventional current, which is the flow of positive charge. Uh, yeah, because it's too late already. Yeah, we, we just, we cannot change everything just because we discovered electron later. Understand? Uh, even though there is uh, some mistakes happen uh, uh, in the way, but actually the concept of flow of positive charge in the opposite direction to the electron, you see the positive charge flow from positive plate to negative plate. Whereas the electron flow from negative plate to the positive plate. Uh, actually, uh, these two ideas support each other. None of it is wrong. Uh, even though the, the only thing that flows is the electron, the proton doesn't flow, the proton doesn't flow, but they support each other. They happen, uh, th it seems that the conventional current is not totally wrong. Okay, why I say like that? Okay, look at this example. Look at this example. You see, uh, here one example. This is two atoms yeah, of the conductor. Yeah, the, the, this is two atoms of the conducting wire or the metal, metal wire. They have three electrons. Okay, so I have one neutral atom. Let's say this atom is neutral. And this atom uh, has a lack of one electron, uh, which is carry a hose. Uh, we know that when an atom's lack of lack of electrons, it becomes positive charge, isn't it? It becomes positive charge. Uh, so let's say uh, uh, this atom is neutral. Why is it neutral? Uh, uh, actually, it's, it's like that. Yeah. Why is this atom neutral? Because it has, um, uh, let's say it has 10 proton and 10 electron. Uh, they balance each other, isn't it? Uh, so 10 proton and 10 electron, they, can, they balance each other. So it is neutral. The charge is neutral. But this one lack of one electron is like, uh, let's say it has a uh, ten proton but nine electron. Lack of one electron. So lack of one electron. It has more protons. Uh, that's why it becomes positive charge. Uh, positive charge. Uh, this case we call it as hole. Uh, it has a hole. Hole means it lack of one electron. Uh, okay. Uh, lack of one electron means it become like one positive charge, yeah, one positive charge. But uh, you know that uh, the charge of one proton is the same as charge of one electron. Do you know that? Uh, so, uh, now, uh, you look at the transfer of electrons. Now, let's say uh, this electron travels from the neutral, neutral atom to the other atom which lack of one electron. Yeah, the electron moves to the right. Uh, so, this electron will fill up the hole here. We'll fill up the hole. So now this, uh, this, the second atom become, uh, gain one electron. So it become 10 proton and 10 electron. Uh, so now balance already become neutral. Uh, but the neutral atom, which loses one electron, now, uh, it has, uh, 10 proton. It has 10 proton, but nine electron. Uh, because it loses one electron. 
So now it has less electron, lack of one electron, it has a hole already. So now it becomes positive charge. So do you think, do you see things happen here? Electron move to the, electron move to the right. Uh, electron move to the right. But the, the, sorry, uh, the positive charge move to the left. Do you see that? Electron, electron move to the right. Uh, electron move to the right to fill up the gap. But now the hole, the hole has moved to the left. Uh, move to the left. And the, the first atom now become, uh, has a hole. Uh, do you see that? The electron move to the right. But the, we can say the hole is like the positive charge. Uh, the hole is like positive charge. Now has moved to the left. Uh, so you see, the positive charge, the positive charge and the, the positive charge is like the current. The positive charge is like the current. And the electrons, electron is the negative charge. They have opposite direction. Uh, if electron move to the right, the current move to the left. They have opposite direction. It's just like one analogy here. Um, I have two cups of water. I have two cups of water. I uh, know, uh, only one cup. I have two glasses, but only one cup with water. The other cup has nothing, just like the hole has nothing, but it has air. Yeah, it has air. So when I pour this uh, cup of water into the other cup, so this cup become fill up with water, but the other cup gain a hole. Uh, it has a hole, or the air move from the second cup to the first cup. Yeah, the water move from first cup to the second cup, but the air move from second cup to the first cup. You see, the air, the air move. Uh, the air move to the to the left, but the water move to the right. Opposite direction. Uh, we can say the water is like the electron, the flow of electron. Uh, the air, the air is like the flow of the positive charge or the current. Okay. Uh, so so we in other words, when electron move when electron move to the right, the positive charge move to the left. It's not a wrong idea totally. It's not a wrong idea totally. So we can say, although proton doesn't move, although the proton doesn't move, but when the electron move, it seems like the proton also move uh, in the opposite direction. Uh, that's why we say the current, uh, it moves in the opposite direction. But uh, since it is all a uh, flow of electrons, since it is all flow of electrons, uh, we still think that uh, current is the flow of positive charge, but this charge, we, uh, we use the flow of electron. Do you see that? Although, although uh, that's why we have this formula, Q equal to NE. Uh, we know that this charge is a positive charge, positive charge, uh, but this electron uh, is actually charge of the proton, of charge of one proton. And we know that charge of one proton is actually equivalent to charge of one electron. Uh, that's why this, this, the charge here, the charge here actually is not the electron charge. It's actually charge of one proton. And we don't, you see this electron here, we don't put a negative sign there. Uh, we just substitute the value of what? We just substitute the value of one electron. Uh, which is uh, 1.6 exponent negative 19. Ah, actually, this is the charge of one proton. This is the charge of one proton. Ah, the, the charge here, we think the, this, uh, the flow of charge here is actually the charge of, is the flow of positive charge. Uh, follow the conventional idea, the conventional current, uh, flow of positive charge. Uh, so the charge here, actually, we know it's a flow of electron, but in such a way, when electron flows, the, the positive charge also, the, when the electron flow, the proton also flow in the opposite direction. But it actually is not the proton flow, it's actually the electron flow. But it seems like proton flow in the opposite direction. Uh, and the flow of proton is the same as, the one charge of one elect proton is the same as charge of one electron. Uh, so that's why here, we use the, this is actually charge of one proton, not charge of one electron. But since proton and electron have the same charge, so it use 
the value of charge of one electron but actually it's the charge of one proton because the idea of charge over here is actually charge of it's actually the idea of positive charge not the negative charge okay so that's all for this video thank you and see you in the next one